I picked up this beautiful 75 pound pig from a local farm. Today, I'm gonna to be salting it on both sides, skin and on the meat. Then I'm gonna cover it in about 100 pounds of ice. And then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna take it out, put my rub on it, throw it on the smoker. So, here's my homemade rub. I call it butt rubbing. I'll be throwing it on here very liberally because this is a lot of meat. It can take a whole hell of a lot of seasoning. Remember, I already salt brined this thing. I adjusted my mix here to account for that. So I didn't add as much salt to my, my shaker here as I normally would. And another one. Oh. In here, there's a lot of paprika, as you can see, the red color. And that's gonna, well, I'd say that that's gonna give this a nice color, but uh, by the time this is done smoking, it's gonna, just gonna come out black as night anyway. So, there's that. But, still wanna season it. And any hopes that the color stays, and the skin, and at least certain parts of this, might be edible, and it doesn't turn into leather. This is a mixture of apple cider vinegar and apple juice. Just trying to get this stuff to uh, kind of cake on there right now so that when it's sitting upside down, it all doesn't just fall off immediately. The tricky part is getting porky here on the, uh, on the smoker. I wish you were here to help. Now, what I did was removed the grate from the top here. I'm gonna be setting porky on this so that later on when I go to flip this, I have something to pull out. That's what she said. <laughs> so that I can rest the pig over, flip it back over onto the grate, set the grate back in, cause it's gonna be cumbersome, hard, and then eventually that thing's gonna wanna start like falling apart as the, uh, the collagen and the bones and all the things start to separate. So, like I said, it's gonna be in there for about four hours. I'm gonna spin it around once. Uh, then after about four hours, I'm gonna take it and put it skin side down. See you guys in a little bit. little piggy went to the market and it didn't end up too well for him. So, thank you very much. Well, all I'm gonna do here is uh, start ripping some of this off and uh, shredding it up, throwing it in these pans and serving my hungry guests. I'm gonna cut until I find where it's attached. There we go. Make sure none of these little bones get in there. Cut it. We're breaking into the ribs and belly. It's gonna be real fatty. Now this being a uh, a young pig, it's not gonna have as much. Uh, it's not gonna have a huge fat cap on there, but the meat will be more tender since this pig was small, young. Cameraman. Okay. You know what? I'm eating some of this skin. I want to try it. 
Yeah. It's actually pretty good. But, oh, look at that. Look at that. That's where we're into the belly right there. Oh. Who's going to be eating the eyeball today? You. I did that last week. I didn't see it. Yeah, didn't you, see didn't, it. you didn't watch my live stream. I ate an eyeball. Was... And I burnt the living hell out of my hand. How's my meat? Super juicy? Super juicy, a lot of flavor. Best ever. Best ever. All right. All right, I'll send the check in the mail. Oh my God, it's falling out. Oh my oh. God. Oh my, oh my God. Come on. Good food, Jill. Thank you. All right. Tell me what you think of my meat in your mouth. I am so juicy and delicious. Tell me what you think of my meat. Um, first of all, delicious. Uh, very tender. Yeah. Moist. Um, tastes Keep going. like murder. Murder. Yeah, murder. I, did, I didn't. I honored the pig. I didn't murder the oh. pig. Oh. Okay. And I don't think you can murder a pig. Oh, then that must not be what I'm tasting. That might be the sauce. No, it's I'm your doing. own guilt and oh. and shortcomings in okay. life. Okay. Okay. It literally just melts. Yeah. In your mouth. Just like murder. Just like murder. Okay. Um, I've tasted it before, so. Murder or my meat? Your meat. Oh, okay. Your meat. All right. So it's very familiar. Oh, okay. Um, so good though, really. It falls apart, very tender. Um. Do you want to see the face? Oh, the pig? No, no, I'm good. I don't like putting a face on my meat. Don't like to to get to know my meat on such a personal level? personal level. Yeah, delicious meat though. Okay. Yep. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. What did I learn from today? I would say that if I were to do another pig roast, I think I would actually aim for either a suckling pig or a full grown pig. I wouldn't go for something that is in the middle of the road like I got. I don't think it had enough time to have enough fat to make the pulled pork as juicy as I normally would want it. If you're gonna be smoking a pig, I would suggest going for a larger pig or a suckling pig. Don't go for a middle of the road one or if you have a heritage breed that is known to have more fat, go with that. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below, tell your friends about me, bring everybody, all the people that you know. Check out my merch store, smokewarehouse.com, like men's warehouse, but even better. Follow me on all the social medias, uh, the Facebooks, the Instagrams, Rumble, the locals, all of the things. The links will be in the description down below. And I'll catch you next time.